I didn't recognize the neighborhood when I was riding around. I've been here before a few times, riding cross country. But I was riding around looking for a place to sleep. And I recognized this building, this bike shop. And I rolled over there and looked at the signs on it. And it's like, I guess they're open. They're not closed. People need their bikes. It's a necessary business, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to get at least a, a patch kit. Maybe today. Last time I was here, I got two puncture resistant tubes for $30 out the door. That'd be nice. I don't want to spend any of the money. I want to try to save a lot of the money in my pocket. So, I want to try to make the money here. You can panhandle here, not on the freeway off ramps, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I might try to stay here. My sister offered to let me come to her house, and it's up only like 120 miles up north. It'd only take me two days to get there, if that. I can make it there in one day. The wind blows that direction, for the most part. But I don't think I'm going to. I appreciate her offer, but and I love her for it, but she's got a house full of people. And I, you know, what if I caught something in the last? I don't know. I keep saying, "Oh, I think I caught it." Got to work. I don't know. Yeah. Nose was running. Big deal. Allergies or something. It could have been from the desert pollen or something. I don't know. I was sick. Uh, but anyway, I don't know that. I'm not gonna do it. But I want to hang out here because I want to do the right thing. I want to, you know, I want to be responsible. You know, I'm not totally wanting to break every rule. Of course not. I don't want to break every rule at all. Um, but I keep getting the bum rush. I wasn't going to stay in California. Those guys are sheeple there. They are. That's a, place, that's a bunch of sellouts. That used to be where everybody went to be rebels. I know I did. The 60s I heard about. Man, off the hook. 70s, 80s, 90s. 2000s. Not now. Boy, they'll do exactly what they're told when they're told to do it. I saw pictures of San Francisco, L.A. Deserted. Looks like Wuhan, China. The communists. That's all there is to it. They'll do what they're told. I'm glad I got out of there. In Tucson, I don't really like it anymore. I used to like it, but it's just gone downhill. In El Paso, when they started talking about lockdown, that's the first I'd, I'd heard of them saying, well, lockdown order. I hadn't heard that yet, so I got didn't want. I don't want to stay in this town. I've been here for almost you know, four or five days. I just feel like I keep getting the bum rush. I definitely did back in Odessa. That was just what they were doing there. All the people coming down to the cops. I had to go. So, I'm going to see if I can't hang out here a little while. Just a, a couple more weeks, maybe, and this will be over with. Fuck. I don't think this is necessary, man. I don't. I'm not the only one, either. I'm listening to the radio. The numbers do not add up to this kind of panic and this kind of response from the authorities. The only thing I can think of is that when you get sick, it costs a gang of money to treat you. But that, you know, and, and the flu does it. The flu kills more people. As, uh, from the numbers I'm hearing, the flu is way worse. It kills way more people, but it's cheap to let you die. They just put you IV drip, hope for the best, and if you croak, you croak. Here they add respirators and this and that. You know, I guess it's expensive. But that doesn't make sense because they're doing all the... Uh, stimulus 